head backwards and you pull out the patient's chin. Okay, to see the chin. Yes. Look inside the patient's mouth. Is the airway clear? Yes. Okay. Now you check if the patient is breathing by putting your ear next to the nose and looking at the chest for ten seconds. He's so Piece of material, and then you just occlude the wound. Oh, you can stay faster. So you, like I said, you have to occlude the wound for between five and fifteen minutes long, and you, the platelets will then start binding. But the issue is, if your patient has multiple wounds in the patient's body, or if you have multiple patients, you can't stand like this the whole time. Obviously, you're wearing gloves. And that's where the second technique comes in. That's what I said. Yeah. Use the bandages. Oh, and you need your tape. Ah, uh, wait, I've got the tape. Yeah, the tape. Remember, yeah. that's where my bone is broken. So, look, I have to split the deal. You'll be okay. You're Oh, this is us can't say anything. You need brains. And pain will be always. Come down, Natasha. So, I'm here, patient. Don't worry. What was your name? My name is Lulama. Lulama, you'll be okay. Just don't worry. Hand over, or if you're short, you can do it this way as well. Right. Now you need to ensure that your, your chest is tightly pushed against the patient's back. And then you pull your fist only. 